Well, it's been a mad week so far in uh, Numistaka land. Small silver rabbits have been seen all over the world changing hands for large and extraordinary amounts of money. Uh, some of the dealers are then cashing in too, £250 for a rabbit, um, second only to last year's £600 for a rabbit. And to cap it all, I got a nail in my car, in my car tyre, which had to be sorted out. Very unfortunate, that. Uh, however, when I got back to the office, there was a couple of packages waiting for me, as usual, with some very, very nice little coins in for grading. So the first one, the first one today, is a, an Australian Luna, and uh, something to get excited about because it's a mouse. Makes a change from rabbits. So this one's a 2008 um, Luna mouse. This is the proof, one ounce um, Luna, Luna 2. Um, I'm not sure how much these go for these days. I Probably maybe a little bit over $100, something like that. Very nice coin, um, not many of these. Um, I've got the, uh, the Luna 1 mouse from 2008, uh, the half ounce one, which is the, the key to the half ounce set. But I think that they, they issued the uh, Luna 1 and Luna 2 mice in the same year. So that one will be graded by NGC. And then there was another larger package that arrived today in the office. And uh, I kind of recognise the, uh, the sellotape that is outside this package. So I'm expecting a whole load of Chinese medals in this one. So if you like beautiful Chinese medals, carry on watching. If you don't, then wait for the next one, which will probably have a few nice gold coins in. But this particular one is a very low mintage. Trigo's first KL coin show. This one is the giant copper metal and I think there are 88 of these that were minted and they all have this uh, the serial number um, stamped on each one which makes it nice and easy to identify them when they go for grading. So I give them one line each in the NGC list and I put the serial number on them so uh, I can tell when they come back exactly which belong to who and hopefully it'll be um, everybody's that gets 70s all the way through. They, they do look very good. I'd be very surprised if a lot of these didn't get 70s. They, uh, they look very, very well made. So uh, this guy from the Silver Forum sent me three of these large copper ones. Uh, so three out of the 88. Uh, I think they all sold out pretty much the same day or a couple of days. It really didn't take long to, for the pandas to sell out. Um, there are a few of the dragons still around um, from uh, Lucky Monero over, uh, over the internet, over eBay or his store in Shanghai. And these ones are the 300 gram silver one. There are 88 of those that were minted. Again, they've got the serial number printed on the side. Um, this is the one I bought. I only bought one of the silver ones and mine was also a 300 gram one. Um, but this particular guy had slightly lower serial numbers than me, so I must have got in a little bit quicker than I did in the ordering. Um, and he also sent in some of the smaller ones as well. So uh, the smaller ones, I've only got the copper, um, I've got three copper ones which I'm sending in. Uh, so he bought uh, a copper one as well, but he also managed to get some of the silver ones, which were really, really difficult to get hold of, particularly the panda, because they only minted 66 of the pandas. So there it is, the elusive Trigo's 60-gram, uh, extra-thick uh, KL Money Show Panda. Only 66 of those were minted, 88 of the larger ones, and those sold out almost immediately. And then you've got the, uh, the dragon, the one with the... Uh, the little square hole in the middle of it. Very attractive coin, very nicely made, um, beautiful coin. There are still one or two of these still for sale. There were only 66 minted. And I don't think they were quite as popular as the pandas because there are a lot more panda collectors around. However, it really is a very nice coin in its own right uh, and should, should be great. Um, so those are the two. 
the two ultra rare 66 mintage Trigos KL coin show um, silver coins. So, very pleased to get those and they can join mine and be sent over to NGC. Hopefully there'll be no problem getting them graded. Uh, they're not an official Panda release, but uh, sometimes uh, NGC make exceptions and grade these slightly off-official releases. Uh, and I hope this is one of those times. I've heard that other people who have sent the Trigos medals in have uh, been successfully accepted for grading. So uh, fingers crossed on that and let's, uh, let's hope that they get good grades. So last three in the same, uh, same package from the same guy, um, these three were packed separately. And as you can see, they are the Proof um, Rwanda Lunar Year of the Rooster. Um, there were a thousand of these only. Uh, I bought, I think it's three of those for myself. Other people have given me them for grading. These are all going to be graded with the NGC Rooster label. Um, and I think they, they look great anyway and they're going to look very good in their new holders uh, at some stage in a month or six weeks when they come back. So uh, there you have it. There's still some more to come for the next grading. Let me know what you guys think.